But I've been testing this Windows 11 Insider ISO. I thought of why not share what I'm actually experiencing over here. This is the 22000.120 build of Windows 11 that I have recently upgraded today. Uh, not a big update, uh, not much changes have come up over here. Subtle changes which definitely add up to give a bigger change as we have seen in other releases of windows also the same thing has happened over here so the first thing is that you will notice in the widgets tab you click on add widgets you get this new option that is the family safety you can just click on this one that will launch a website from where you can basically take control of devices and see how much screen time how much time you are using your device how much time you're sitting in front of the screen also you can filter contents according to age and uh, games which are right for the age uh, it is basically a kind of parental control that they're uh, trying to give through the widgets app of windows 11 so you just click on this one and you can uh, whichever work you are doing here you might be doing you just click on this one and see all the contents that you need over here now the next thing that they have brought up is that they have introduced chat badges like as you can see the chat badge appears over here they have introduced this new feature it is not there you can see the number of notifications that are there you need to reply and all so you just click over here and then click this one on the chat to which you want to reply you can just enter the text and reply there also teams is having that same notification badging as we can see now i am quite impressed with the team's application of windows 11 more about that later now in the taskbar previews as you can see if i open windows explorer in the taskbar previews this cross button style has been changed definitely modern they should also change these close minimize and uh, maximize buttons according to the standards of windows 11 since everything is rounded they should also be rounded for consistency they can choose a design that is similar to this one. This one looks pretty neat and nice. If settings app is already opened and we switch to a different desktop and we click, we right click over there and click on choose background, then you will be able to find that the settings application moves from the desktop one to desktop two. So this is another new feature that they have added over here so as you can see that whenever i move to desktop one the settings application disappears from here and whenever we move back to desktop two it appears or pops up over there so similarly if we right click and choose the settings app just moves to desktop one The context menu of File Explorer has been updated to make it a little more compact to suit mouse users. So that is also another subtle change that has been brought up. Another inside the File Explorer itself, we if we head over to the new button, uh, let's go to desktop and click on the new button. You're able to find this drop down list now instead of the previously available that uh, nested list looks much more cleaner in this case so you can just create compressed zip folders or normal folders and use them and the, also they have made some adjustments to improve the use of space and thumbnail sizes with the alt tab task view and snap assist so as you can see with alt tab they have made this new adjustment of use of space and thumbnail windows tab also that is the task view as we can see over here let me just close this desktop also we have several changes in microsoft store so if we head over to microsoft store from here and head over to the gaming tab we find that far more information have been included with every page that uh, we open so let's open this one so you can see that more amount of information has been included uh, with this new change so you can see that if we click on rate and review this interface has been made much simpler now other changes that have come up in settings app if we head over to the settings app we go to apps apps features apps and features inside apps and features in more settings 
we find archive apps. So what happens that in order to save the space and internet bandwidth, the apps that you don't use frequently will be archived automatically. Your files and other data, they will be saved the next time when you use an archived app, it will connect to the internet to restore the full version if it is still available then. So by default, I find that it is turned on. If you don't like it, you can just turn it off. So it's according to your own wish that you can do. Clean up recommendation. If we go to store it sense, store it sense, that is system and then go to storage. And there we find this tab that is the clean up recommendation. And if we click this open, here you can see large unused files if we click over here the files synced to the uh, cloud that is the files that have been already uploaded to the cloud and unused apps the apps that we don't use very often so from there we can delete the apps if we don't need it anymore so here for my the recommendation is the whole of the downloads folder so it depends on the pc from one pc to the other the suggestion will be different so that is how it works so that's all the changes that have been made in windows 11 22000.120 update the latest developer build not much changes just subtle changes that have been brought up so these subtle changes will add up to create next better build of windows 11 now i have been testing the uh, teams app it has come up in the previous updates but I recently got this uh, Windows 11 update now after seeing the teams app it is pretty neat I would say if we open the teams it's quite fast and it takes less time for opening if we just go here and quit this app from RAM and then we search for teams over here and open teams it opens instantly as you can see over here so they have done a better work with teams now teams has been a problem for me to open um it takes a lot of time it lags a lot so if i can just move smoothly between calendar activity chat and it's quite fast and smooth and much more reliable than the normal version of not reliable i won't say it's reliable because this is a teams preview version so it's better it's smoother it feels much faster smooth and snappier than the normal version of teams that is existing in the market right now so if they can ship this teams with keeping all the features they are included in the normal version of teams currently the stable version one so it will be a great one because teams particularly has been quite laggy in my computer so that's it all for today now after this uh, this was just a try to review one of the build of the dev version of Windows 11 Insider. Do tell me how it is and I do want to continue with this testing one. It's fun to test and if you did like to do the same thing, I have a video how you can do on unsupported hardware or if you did like to install it on a virtual box then you can do just uh, on a virtual machine that you, then you can do the same. Just the way I'm doing it currently right now. So I'm on a virtual machine. I would recommend you to use VMware because the performance in VMware is VMware is just great. It is really fast. 